In this video, we're going to talk about the correlation and determination coefficients. This is r and r squared in a linear regression model. This data is typically provided to you when the linear regression is calculated. The correlation coefficient for a linear regression model is the lowercase letter r, and it represents a measure of how strong the relationship is between the data. It ranges between negative 1 and positive 1, including negative 1 and 1. In other words, negative 1 is less than or equal to r, which is less than or equal to 1. For a set of data with strong positive correlation, the r value will be near 1. And for a set of data with strong negative correlation, the r value will be negative 1. If there's basically no correlation, in other words, you have a horizontal line, then the r value will be near 0. We can see that in the first scatter plot, which is a linear regression line of a perfect diagonal with points scattered above and below the line, the r value is 0 0.9847. That's a strong positive correlation. In the second scatter plot, where we have a decreasing line and points scattered a little bit further from the line, we have an r value of negative 0 0.9151, which is a relatively strong negative correlation. In the third graph, we have a perfectly fit line between four points. It's a decreasing line, and its r value is negative 1, which tells us it is actually a perfect negative linear correlation. And in the fourth graph, we have a linear regression that is decreasing with points scattered much more randomly around the line. And in this case, we have an r value of negative 0.66 which means that we do have a negative correlation, but it's definitely not as strong as the other ones we saw. Now the coefficient of determination is r squared, and it will fall between 0 and 1 inclusive. In other words, 0 is less than or equal to r squared is less than or equal to 1. r squared is a measure of the goodness of fit for the linear regression model. The closer the value of r squared is to 1, the better the fit of the line to the data. Going back to our first scatter plot, the positive diagonal line with points slightly above and below the line, the r squared value is 0 0.9697. That's a really strong goodness of fit for this line to the data. In the second graph, the decreasing trend line with points scattered a little bit further away from the line, we have an r squared value of 0 0.8375. So that's a little bit further away from 1 and the points are a little bit further away from the regression line. In the third graph, we had a decreasing line that perfectly fit four data points. And in this case, the r squared value is 1.0. It is, in fact, a perfect fit between the linear regression line and the data. Finally, in the fourth graph, which was the decreasing line with data scattered much more irregularly around the linear regression line, the r squared value is 0 0.4407. And we can see that the goodness of fit is nowhere as good as on the other graphs we examined. Now let's look at a set of data and find the r and r squared value and interpret the meaning of those two numbers for this set of data. The data in the table gives us the percentage of Americans 12 or older in millions who have listened to a podcast in the last month. The first line of the data table is the year, and we have years evenly spaced from 2010 to 2018. The second line of the table is 4t, which is the number of years since 2010, and it's left blank for us to fill out. The third line of the table is a capital P, which is the percentage of Americans 12 or older who have listened to a podcast in the last month. In this problem, we're going to look at the percentage of Americans 12 or older who have listened to a podcast in the last month. In the data table, the first row is the years, and it spans from 2010 to 2018, counting year by year. The second row is left blank for us to write in the value of t, which is the re-index of years. And the last row is for capital P, the percentage of Americans 12 or older who have listened to a podcast in the past month. Let's start by re-indexing the time. We're going to let t be the number of years since 2010, which means that 2010 corresponds to t equals 0, 2011 to t equals 1, and so on, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and t equals 8 corresponding to 2018. Now we are going to assume the growth is linear and find a linear regression model and then interpret the correlation coefficient and the coefficient of determination, that is r and r squared. I'll read you the percentage values as we plot the data in the table in Desmos. In the header row of the table, I'm going to use t sub 1 and capital P sub 1. Now adding my data pairs, 0, 12, 1, 12, 2, 14, 3, 
12, 4, 15, 5, 17.5, 6, 21, 7, 24, and 8, 26. Again, you can use tab to move easily between the cells of the table. You can also use shift tab to move backwards through the table. Using zoom fit, we can see that the data is maybe a positive linear trend. It's not going to be exact, but we are assuming that the model is going to be linear. So let's find it. You can always start with your basic linear model, y equals mx plus b, which of course is going to give you some errors. We need to replace x and y with the variables in our problem that match the header line of our table. So y is the dependent variable, p sub one, and x becomes the independent variable, t sub one. Now we're still getting errors, and that's because the equal sign needs to be changed to a tilde. As soon as we do that, we have the linear regression model. We find that the slope is 1.85833, and the y-intercept is 9.62222. Let's make sure we understand how to construct the model from this panel of data. It would be capital P of T equals MT, so that's 1.858, let's just round to three decimal places, T plus the value of B, 9.622. At this point, we found the linear regression model, and now we want to interpret the correlation coefficient, which is r, and the coefficient of determination, which is r squared. We can see those both in the calculation of the linear regression parameters. r is 0 0.9406, so what that means is we have a strong positive correlation between time and the percentage of Americans 12 or older that have listened to podcasts in the last month. This does not give us the goodness of fit of the data. That comes from the value of r squared. r squared is 0 0.8846. A perfect fit to the line would be a value of 1. So we could say that the coefficient of determination is 0 0.8846, which tells us that there is a pretty good fit between the data and the regression line. Again, a perfect fit would be 1. A close to perfect fit would be something like 0.95 or 0.98 or 0.99.